Today's episode of Taste Buds is uh, sponsored by Yarilo. And Yarilo makes a beautiful set of chef's knife. And I just want to open this one, unbox it, and let you see what it is and how beautiful this set of knives are. From what I've read, the knives are made of Damascus steel or Damask steel, Japanese steel. And it has soft, you know, steel on the outside and it has a high quality core on the inside and it is layered, 67 layers to be exact. The knives, it's the knife itself is beautiful. They are beautiful. The design on them, based on the the production design, is awesome. I love the handles, the wooden handle. It feels heavy in my hand. It don't feel like the regular knife that I used to use. It's strong and it's durable, and the blade is ever sharp. It, I mean, I promise you guys, it feel good. Watch it, watch it. It just balancing in my hand. And it comes, as I told you, in a set of four. And it is an awesome product. It's beautiful to look at. The design is, is beautiful. And I can't wait to use it. Of course, guys, in my description box, there is a link where you can go ahead and purchase your own knife set such as this one. And you will also experience what I am experiencing with this beautiful set of knives. So we wanna thank Yarelo. Before we start cooking or anything, we wanna thank them for linking with us and sending us this beautiful set of products. Welcome to Yadabelli TV and this is Taste Buds. So today I am making a very, very quick and easy vegan marinara sauce or pasta sauce. And I say marinara sauce loosely because obviously, uh, you know, the Italians have a moratorium on anything, you know, pasta related and stuff like that. And so I say marinara sauce loosely. But it is, however, going to be a vegan version of a tomato based sauce. And I'll be having that with some thick spaghetti now normally i would get the whole wheat spaghetti but unfortunately my light my light my light my light unfortunately i don't have the um whole wheat spaghetti so i'm using just the regular spaghetti and we pretty much are gonna be slow cooking all of what you see here and pulling those flavors from it and i'm gonna match it up with some of my little bit of you know uh Spices, there's that there and herb and stuff, a little olive oil. And we're going to see if we can come up with something. Now, what I don't have, which is vital and I think very important to make this dish work. I don't have fresh basil. I don't have fresh basil. I don't know how come I don't have fresh basil. But, however, I have some parsley and some cilantro, a little bit of dill and some Jamaican thyme. Yeah, thyme or thyme. I have some onions here and i'm just using up my onions before you know they stay in the fridge and usually i don't uh you i don't leave my onions more than a day all right so we try to get these done and i have some oregano oregano yes and i have also here my herbs the provence from the gourmet collection I am not using excessive amount of salt, so I'm using a little bit um, no salt seasoning. And normally I don't use those any at all, but let's see what happens. So, what's the first thing that we're going to do? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to start to cut our vegetables up. So let's deal with that right now. We're going to start with our onions. And I am just loving this knife. I love how it feels in my hand. I love the design on it. I love how it uh, cuts sharply. And I'm a little bit even nervous using it because you know when you're not used to using something so nice, Lord Jesus.
So here the wife is just making some zucchini pasta or noodles using a spiralizer and we're doing this so to add to our regular uh flour pasta because we don't want it to be all about the you know the gluten and the flour and thing and thing so we're gonna offset that with some zucchini noodles yeah using a spiralizer i look good i like it i like it a lot here we have some vine ripened tomatoes and this is what we're going to be using to pair with our zucchini to make our pasta sauce. And these are beautiful tomatoes, organic tomatoes, and we're just going to take them now and add them to our hot boiling pasta um, water, the water that the pasta has been cooked in. So we're going to wash these tomatoes and then just, just dunk them in the water and leave them for a little bit so that we can make the skin be easier to peel. So I just took my tomatoes out of the boiling water and I'm gonna peel my tomatoes because I really don't want the skin to be in the finished sauce so I'm gonna this is where I take my small paring knife and just run it yeah on the outside of the tomato and there you go look at that and because this knife is so sharp it does the job like breeze and may remember i had dunked my tomato in the boiling water for a little bit so even more so the skin has become a little bit more pliable all right it is a beautiful thing when you have proper kitchen utensils to use and i promise you guys look at that look at that even for those areas where you can see clearly if i can see if i if i could get my my camera to focus you could see clearly where the knife is under the skin of the tomato and it's just lifting it off yeah man so this is what we're doing right now we're just gonna peel these tomatoes and then we will be getting ready to blend our ingredients to make our sauce my mama tell you So now I have my vegetables all blended and I am going to be just adding them to my food processor. And this is where I get creative with my sauce, guys. If you had the time, if it wasn't a weeknight, if it was one of those days when you could, you know, just be comfortable doing your, your thing low and slow, then by all means, I would agree that you make the time to make this cook, take the time and make this cook. But it's one of those days when you really want to get something on the plate. You want to get your family fed. And this is where you can become a little bit more creative, guys. So after chopping my ingredients and uh, preparing them in that fashion, I'm just going to add them to my trusty food processor and pulse these down to a manageable place where once I put this in the, in the, in the pot, it will not be long before my sauce is made and finished so again you just want to pulse these a little bit and keep adding more and more ingredients until you have completely saturated you have completely um you know pulse and and, and macerated all of your ingredients gonna add some more and I'm gonna keep doing this until I have reached to my when we finish all of this yeah once I finish all of this then we're good to go 
Yes, man. Adding some more. Pulsing again. And this is how my sauce looks. Yes. And I'm just finishing up throwing out all of the rest. Yeah. And if you notice, guys, I did not overly process it. I want it to still remain a little bit on the chunky side. You know, I didn't want to overly process the sauce. And so I'm just going to pour that out now. And the next step is to, to start the cooking. So to my Dutch pot right here, I added some oil, um, some olive oil. I added maybe about three or so tablespoons of um, extra virgin olive oil. Yeah. And I'm just going to dump in my blended vegetables. Wow. And immediately the aroma that hits my nose. Trust me. Now, many people will say, yeah, the belly, why you do it like that? Right? And I say... Sometimes you have to be unconventional. Sometimes you have to step out of the box. You know, you want you want to make a sauce and you want to make a sauce quickly. And I have my stove here on almost middle, where you call it, mid-range. Because I don't want the sauce to burn. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. And you pretty much just want your vegetables to start cooking. You know. And once it has start cooking, then you can add whatever other ingredients you want to add now. Some people will also say, you had a belly, why you don't add more tomato? And I have a solution to that. You see, we cook out of necessity. You understand? And it's what we have, we use. So, I'm going to be adding something else to make up for the lack of tomato, <laughs> so to speak. But I like where it's going right now. My zucchini is settling, my onions and my garlic settling. And it, I promise you, it smells Italian already. I may not put in my herbs them yet. You get what I'm saying? So, what you want to do with this now, you just want this to, as it were, cook down. So, you're going to leave it a little bit and make it cook down, make all of the water sort of start to evaporate out of it. And the onions and the garlic start to take on that good aroma. And then, we shall be doing whatever else we'll be doing. Yes, man. I'm never tell you. So my my vegetables has come to that point and I am gonna add to get some color now I'm gonna add some of this this is Amy's organic soups and it's chunky vegetable and this is straight vegetarian so may I add my Amy's now and the Amy's are gonna give some color bring it back down to the tomato flavor vibes there so and normally guys I would use um, tomato paste you know, or as, as you know, I could use fresh tomatoes, but none of that now exists. And this is one of those meals that is indicative of you coming home on an evening 
and just rigs in up something and set up something right quick all right and my son said to me me can use mackerel <laughs> we can use tin mackerel forget the, 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 the tomatoes color but i'm gonna just continue with this and allow it to cook down a little bit more right now it is at nice nice level and i've not added any salt at all um the aim is have a certain amount of salt it's not overly salty because it's a it's a, one of those you know clean products but i'm not adding no extra salts and um you know to this and i'm just allowing my sauce to cook down a little bit more and then we will add our pasta in and toss it around and we're good to go my mommy tell you it smells so good it smells good josh yeah. it does smell good i said yeah oh you sure i'm gonna swear me here now I said, yeah. oh you say yeah all right so may i add, may I add a little bit of tomato ketchup add some tomato ketchup yeah see there no artificial flavor or color all right and yeah get my sauce right yeah see what i say and guys you can also add your own you know embellishment to this you can flavor it however you choose it's up to you continue doing what you're doing yeah plating time next here I have a blend of herbs. I have a little bit of thyme, Jamaican thyme. I have uh, a parsley and cilantro and a little bit of dill. And I'm just going to cut these up right now. Yeah. And the good thing about this uh, chef's knife that I have here is that it does not allow for the bruising, you know. So I'm just going to cut these up right now. And first thing I'm going to do is cut off the stems of the, pars the parsley. Yeah. Cut down which I don't need. Yeah, man. And it cuts so nice. Trust me. Cut off all the stems. and then you want to you want to just bunch these up So our pasta sauce has come to the place now where we want to add our noodles, yes, our spaghetti. And uh, this was just cooked and drained. And we're going to add the spaghetti and then we're going to also add our zucchini spirals, yeah, our zucchini noodles. And of course, we, our sauce is thick and rich and it's a, a very, very stocky sauce. It's not um, runny. You know, it's almost like a like a, 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 a thick soup. And we want to make sure that we incorporate the noodles and stuff. Because remember, the noodles weren't cooked with salt. So the sauce is what's going to bring that flavor and everything. So we're just going to mix in everything now. And then we add in our zucchini and make sure so everything is thoroughly incorporated and we're good to go remember no meat in this so we want to make sure that it is sturdy it is good it's not a light sauce 
it has to be strong enough to hold three big people um you know until breakfast tomorrow morning all right so next thing is the plating i promise you guys so here we have our finished dish guys and i promise you it looks it looks real real good so i'm just gonna drop some tomatoes on yeah to finish up the plate i mean need a little green for chewing the babes you have no scallion or nothing you know yeah just drop some green with on and i have some cheese here and you can use any types of cheese that you so see fit again i'm just using some uh pepper jack cheese you can use vegan cheese or cheese substitute right there and then you want to go in again and just drizzle a little bit of your olive oil around yeah just a nice little drizzle nothing too heavy beautiful beautiful and then finally you just want to put a little bit of garnish on top yeah oh that looks see you look good mm -hmm. mm, that's great that's great so guys this is a quick and easy well not so quick because may allow the something for, for boil down you know the the total meal took me maybe about what maybe a, a 45 minutes to to cook or f finish up you yeah, know maybe a little bit more. yeah maybe an hour yeah 45 minutes or so but guys i promise you this one is awesome you understand vegan well not vegan but meat so there you have it guys our zucchini and tomato pasta sauce with spaghetti and i just covered it with some uh you know decorations tomatoes and a little bit of pepper jack cheese and of course we want you to remember yarilo who sponsored our program today the purveyors of this awesome awesome set of chef's knife and of course, once again, you can check in the description box for a link in which you can go ahead and purchase your own. A beautiful product with a nice wooden handle and Damascus steel, 67 layers of great quality product. Strong and durable. It was a pleasure to use this product today to make taste buds on Yadabelli TV.